Hello everyone, this is Bigowski. And GTV. And this is Abysmal Layer 2, or Abysmal Layer Phase 2. Ninja Gaiden Black, Master Ninja, Mission Mode. Uh, this is the single worm. And again, I'm going to show kind of a half farming, I guess, way. Because I want to get the most points, or not the most points, but you know, a lot of points. So I can kind of have an idea of what I need to do to get to 50 million later on. So again, uh, probably waste the time saying all that stuff. But anyway, here I just use the war hammer. And a I lot love of the sound effect of, uh, you know when he does that swipe and he takes out like tons of wasps? I love that sound effect, it's so good. Now did I put on the celerity? Do I have the celerity? I forgot. That looks like celerity, looking at that charge. So again, Actually, just, I don't know. just uh, Knowing the patterns, again, like I said in the other video, being able to roll jump in other ways so you don't cling to the wall um, like that, or, or cancel it out, you know, with the shark and see I missed yeah, yeah, on landing. Sure. A lot of that stuff is just practice. So, you know, that, that's something you want to do, especially when it comes to the farming missions. But again, just watch what he's going to do, watch his patterns. Uh, you, you don't really want to... There. See, at least I, I, I did a little bit better there, but of course I missed. I got yeah. my on landing down and missed. And all that essence as well. Thinking about it, like you've had a thing four UT essence orbs there, right? Um, and if the, and if the UT had connected, like that, you know, that's no big deal. But because uh, like that whiffed, um, right. you lost, you know, you lost twelve and a half thousand total for the UT, um, and also the points that that. Made. I love it when he just fiend sealers the pill bugs, you know? That looks so badass. <laughs> just, that, I love that. It's so cool. So, you could probably do I, I forget what the other weapons are here, but... Uh, I mean, you don't, you don't have to uh, try to go for the scores and stuff like that that I'm doing right here. A, a lot yeah. of it is just... I mean, you could attack right here instead of UT. Me. I mean, in, in general, though, it's a fairly safe way uh, of fighting this mission. I mean, as you can see, those Warhammer UTs and ETs, you know, they do a really nice bit of damage to the worm. Right. You know, it, right. It's a fairly safe way to play the mission. Well, um, I'm trying to think what else you have. You have, I mean, you have the nunchucks, don't you, and the flails and the Luna. I can't remember if you have the dragon sword or not. But, you know, the, the thing about it, too, is if you're trying to... to beat these missions because the main goal of this is to not use elixirs and to not use nippo you know sometimes you team your way through to achieve that goal is, is what you have to do because you're you know uh, you have a lot more involved in what in vulnerability frames versus just oh i switched over there so i wouldn't ut the guy like i did the last time and i get credit for it yeah you know, again, that's that's something else to kind of keep in mind. But again, you know, use use the frames when you can. That way, you don't take a chance of getting hit or, or knocked out of something if you're just standing around and get overwhelmed. So, everybody has their play style. But again, this is just get through it without supplies, elixirs, or info. Now. Uh, that attack he does right there is actually kind of the backbone of how you'd farm it, but you time it just before he releases it, and you can just get significantly more UTs that way. Right. Something fun to look forward to, but that's it, guys. We'll see you later. Take care, everybody.